This Maxisite app is a demo, meaning there are no backlinks from other sites such as your own website, uh, your social media page, local business directories, uh, the content is minimal, and there has been zero marketing efforts to, to increase activity or shares online. Moreover, it's a single web page that is evidently ranking among full-scale, multi-page websites utilized as the primary online presence for actual businesses, some who you can see are quite large. Secondly, Keep in mind that the MaxiSite app appeared in image and web search results for three different search queries. But logically, the MaxiSite app could appear in tens, if not hundreds, of other search queries. So what am I trying to convey? Why compete with the majority for higher competition broad keywords when you can compete with the minority for lower competition long tail keywords? In other words, you could have better success fighting for a smaller slice of the pie because at the end of the day, a customer is a customer whether he or she arrived through a congested main street or a smaller side street. I'm not implying that you should not target the main street per se, but rather to diversify your efforts and target those on the side street as well. Now to prove that this max site app is truly a demo as I've stated, I'm now going to check the number of backlinks in Ahrefs. As you may already know, quality backlinks are a prominent SEO, search engine optimization, factor to ranking well in search results. And so I will now copy the MaxiSite app URL and paste it into Ahrefs. As you can see, this MaxiSite app has zero backlinks and no data. It's basically a fresh web page. So the question is, how is it possible that this demo MaxiSite app with zero backlinks and no data or activity is ranking among established websites, many of whom are building backlinks, updating content, and promoting activity regularly? Well, unfortunately, only Google or other search engines could give you the exact answer. But what I can presume, based on known SEO fundamentals, is that if there are zero backlinks, which is off-page SEO, meaning what you do outside of your web page, then a likely factor to the current MaxiSite app ranking is a result of on-page SEO, meaning what you do within your web page, that could be helping the good ranking. That said, MaxiSite apps consist of over 25 on-page SEO fundamentals implemented within 27 different field elements and 400 settings. So fundamental factors such as title tags to an SEO enhanced editor with optimized headings and content for each of the 27 different field elements. To Google Translate and auto refresh content settings. To SEO meta tags, and you can see we've optimized this maxi site app for the oil change service and three street names, intersections and zip code as discussed. To text to speech, to alt text, Now adding an alt text or alternative text is a principal element for web accessibility. And what it does is it enables screen readers to read the alt text you provide to help a visually impaired user to better understand the image. Furthermore, alternative text provides search engine crawlers with better image descriptions so that images are indexed properly. Therefore, the technical structure and code for MaxiSite apps are optimized for search engines, and you were able to see that in the results from the search queries we had completed. And as you know, search engine algorithms are always changing, and so the backend code for MaxiSite apps are tweaked and updated accordingly. So now imagine if you had multiple MaxiSite apps, such as this, each created for a specific product, service, or subject, each optimized for local content using the different street names, intersections, zip codes, and each with backlink building and marketing activity. In addition, 
Imagine if you created tens or hundreds of service marketing or promotional maxi site apps such as this, personalized for each customer with unique content to improve his or her loyalty for more sales and traffic. You would essentially be building a massive dictionary of keywords related to your business. Now this dictionary concept is no different than the concept of online directory portals such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Quora, Groupon, which are silos of unique keywords and content that collectively can help their site to rank well, as you saw earlier. So by now, you might be thinking, this maxi site thing requires work, but is it worth doing? The answer is absolutely yes. And I'm gonna break it down to three factors, which will draw a clear picture. Cost comparison, statistical facts, and paid versus organic value. Let's first do a cost comparison of Google Ads versus MaxiSet apps. The average cost per click across all industries with Google search ads, $2 per click as of 2020. And the cost per maxi site is less than 20 cents per month, which is less than $2.40 per year. Which means one click through on Google ads is equivalent to one year of service per maxi site. So dollar per dollar, the cost of one click on Google ads would pay for unlimited traffic you receive through a maxi site app within 365 days. And to break this down further, every visitor to your maxi site after your first visitor within 365 days would cost you nothing. So whether it be one, 10 or a thousand visitors. Next, let's understand statistical facts with search to realize the reality. Online competition increases year after year for many business categories. And as a result, expanding local web presence to stand off from competitors should be a priority. And here's why. A study by hrefs.com revealed that 95% of new web pages do not rank well within one year. And the web pages that do rank on the first page of search results for 2 million randomly selected keywords are at least two to three years old. Therefore, if you intend to be in business for more than a year, it would be a wise idea to create maxi sites sooner than later as search engines give precedence to each web pages, content, links, etc. Or the earlier you launch maxi site apps, the better. Lastly, let's understand the difference in value between paid versus organic traffic. The analogy I like to use uh, to explain the difference between paid and organic is as follows. Paid traffic is like going on a fishing charter where the captain has already set up four to eight fishing rods for you and guarantees that you'll catch fish. You simply hop on board, pay the captain for the set number of hours you've agreed to, and then wait till the fish is hooked. Now, organic traffic is like renting a small boat, setting up four to eight fishing lines on your own and dropping those lines in the water. So in either case, you're fishing the same body of water and you have the same number of lines out. But here's the difference. With the charter, you're guaranteed one fish within the set time slot you're on that boat, such as four to eight hours, and then your lines are out once you're done. On the contrary, when you set up your own gear, you're not guaranteed one fish, but your lines are in the water for 365 days and not just four to eight hours. So in case if you're confused and wondering how I came up with that comparison, again, the average cost per click with Google search ads is $2 and the cost per maxi site is less than $2.40 for 365 days. So the question is, if your fishing lines remained in the same body of water for 365 days versus 48 hours, is it probable that you could catch one fish? If your lines were set up correctly, I think it would be very safe to assume that you would catch more than one fish in 365 days based on what you saw earlier through the search queries. Therefore, maxi site apps can generate a higher ROI, return on investment, on your marketing dollars versus Google Ads. And yes, it will require some work to set up, but the good news is, is that maxi site apps for the most part is set it and forget it. So once your maxi site apps have been created, it's just a matter of updating content, building backlinks and activity moving forward. You can either do it yourself, have an employee do it, or you can outsource it and follow the comprehensive guidelines provided. Here's a preview to the guidelines.
And if you prefer to have an expert team optimize your website, then set up and manage Maxisite apps on your behalf. Consider Jibio Managed Services. So in closing summary, it's best to diversify your digital marketing efforts. And one proven strategy is to utilize Maxisite apps to expand your local web presence, organic traffic, customer loyalty for more sales. The key to getting ahead is getting started. Thanks for watching.